What a crafty wretch. After flinging mud at royal reputation Meghan sniggered feels much better. Meghan Markle said she is feeling much better after renouncing royal duties her first in-person interview since she and Prince Harry revealed all in their bombshell appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show. The Duchess of Sussex was asked about her mental health during a conversation with columnist Andrew Ross Sorkin and businesswoman Melody Hobson in a podcast with The New York Times. The Duchess of Sussex gave an update on her mental health during a candid conversation with financial columnist Andrew Ross Sorkin in a podcast on Tuesday. It comes after Sorkin said there was a moment when a lot of the world was concerned after she told millions of viewers that she had experienced suicidal thoughts during her bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in March earlier this year. She also claimed that she was denied help from the royal family during her private struggle with her suicidal thoughts. Harry also claimed that his father and brother, Prince Charles and William, are trapped in the institution of the monarchy. And just days ago a royal biographer revealed the interview was planned years in advance. The Sussexes' rift with the royal family led to them moving to the United States last year and since then they have spoken regularly to American media about problems they allege forced them to leave. Allegations or rumors of a difficult relationship between Meghan and other royals were widespread and the relationship deteriorated after their marriage in 2018. While the Sussexes have given regular interviews to the media about their problems with the royal family, the one with most impact was made with Oprah earlier this year where Harry said he had to break the cycle and bring his children up in a different environment. He was critical of the family while Meghan also alleged a racist incident with a royal who had questioned what color would be the skin of her child when she was pregnant for the first time. Sorkin also asked Meghan and his other guest Melody Hobson about being a woman of color and dealing with the issue from a gender perspective. The Duchess said, it's not a new issue, and I think even though there's been a lot more attention perhaps in the last year or two, what women and women of color have been experiencing for a very long time, I witnessed it through the lens of my mom and now as an adult myself, is still staggering. But I think that we're making strides in the right direction and a lot of that comes down to, as we said, men being part of the conversation, but also women being able to support each other. In her first major interview since the bombshell interview, host Sorkin asked her how she was feeling during their chat called Minding the Gap on the New York Times Deal Book podcast. He said, are you feeling just better about everything? Megan replied, yes. I am feeling much better about everything, thank you. Speaking to host Andrew Ross Sorkin tonight, she said stepping back from royal duties has led to an improvement in her mental health. The mum of two admitted that she has seen an improvement in her mental health since stepping back from royal duties and addressed getting involved in political issues. In addition to her own mental health, the ex-royal spoke of having to cut out coupons as a youngster her time working as a waitress and her recent controversial letters to Republican senators on the issue of paid parental leave. The Duchess of Sussex recently lobbied members of the United States Congress and Senate to help new parents receive paid leave, which she says is humanitarian. During the podcast she was asked whether she had any anxiety when speaking about politics. She replied, I don't see this as a political issue frankly. Look. There is certainly a precedent amongst my husband's family and the royal family of not having any involvement in politics, but I think this is. I mean, paid leave, from my standpoint, is just a humanitarian issue. What a craft.
relationship deteriorated after their marriage in 2018. While the Sussexes have given regular interviews to the media about their problems with the royal family, the one with most impact was made with Oprah earlier this year where Harry said he had to break the cycle and bring his children up in a different environment. He was critical of the family while Meghan also alleged a racist incident with a royal who had questioned what color would be the skin of her child when she was pregnant for the first time. Sorkin also asked Meghan and his other guest Melody Hobson about being a woman of color and dealing with the issue from a gender perspective. The Duchess said, it's not a new issue, and I think even though there's been a lot more attention perhaps in the last year or two, what women and women of color have been experiencing for a very long time, I witnessed it through the lens of my mom and now as an adult myself, is still staggering. But I think that we're making strides in the right direction and a lot of that comes down to, 